Hey guys, so um, I had an epiphany and I realized that this was stupid. So this is a follow-up video to this video that I did where I used a flying machine to transport items from my minecart with the chest all the way over here and then I used some fancy piston things to push rails in and out of the way and it all go down in these high and it was very complicated. You could watch that video if you want, but I realized it was stupid and so I realized a much easier way to do it right here where you just put a hopper mic out underneath but and I tried to do that over here but I realized it wasn't so simple because this slime block underneath would attach to the rail that the minecart was sitting on and just start dragging it around and I couldn't I couldn't put the minecart there without a rail because then it wouldn't pick up any items so I had a predicament and so I made this actually I made this beforehand and then I realized the hopper minecart thing but then I tried it and it still didn't work and I didn't feel like thinking about it too much, so I made the video anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but today I put a little more, a little bit more thought into it, and I moved the thing around so that it, there weren't any sticky blocks underneath this minecart. And I did try to use this new 1.15 feature with the honey block, where you push it and it sticks to the minecart, but you can see. Uh, not only does it stick to the rail, actually, but it's it also does that. But um, let me just try to demonstrate here. Uh, Minecart with a chest. Not what I was trying to do at all. Okay, but you can see with the honey block, it will push and pull the uh, chest around on top of it. Um, which would mean that I wouldn't have to have these ugly blocks here, but I do. So, yeah. Um, and the fact that it does uh, this is really weird, but I think it has something to do with the fact that the honey blocks hitbox is slightly smaller than an actual blocks. You can see that I kind of fall down a bit when I get off this piston, um, which is just wonderful. So, this is the final design. This is what I came up with. Um, so, let's just grab some items, let's test it out, let's put it in here, just, let's just throw them in, press the button, make it go, off it goes, there it go, there we go, and you can see the items are being picked up very fast by this minecart, and they're being put into the chest, because I set this up so strategically at both hoppers are picking it up. Yeah. If you want to know how to set this up, you, you literally just take a fence and uh, put it here and then push the minecart into it, but keep the rail, and then I'll disperse between two chests and also pick up this. Very fun. Very cool mechanic. Um, Alright, well, it looks like it's all gone, so now we can send it back, because obviously I made it with a two-way flying machine. Why would I not? And it's back! And this is useful for over-the-air transport if you really don't want to build a giant rail line to wherever you want to go. Um, and, well, and it's only one uh, minecart with a chest, but I suppose if you really wanted to, you could uh, stack them like this. Oh, never mind, you can't. They don't let you do that anymore. <laughs> they stack on top of each other? That's actually really weird. That might be useful, too. Anyway, so that's that's a that's that's the follow up to this mess. I don't I don't like this anymore. It's stupid. I I didn't really want to do that. Anyway, okay, that's it. Goodbye.